In our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about how many nutrients does it take to grow a crop? Well, and your crop could be anything. It could be your lawn. It could be your garden. It could be a crop out in the field. No matter what you're trying to grow, if you're growing a plant, that plant needs food. Now, there are some things that the plant is going to get just no matter what, hey, you're going to put some water out there, you're getting hydrogen, you're getting oxygen, it's going to breathe in carbon dioxide, so you're going to get carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen taken care of, but there are a lot of other nutrients that that plant is going to need to be fed throughout the season. We have a free app we've developed called the Ag PhD Fertilizer Removal App. You can download that and take a look at whatever crop you're growing, punch in your yield goal, and it will tell you how many nutrients you need to grow the grain, to grow the stover, and then the total of the two. Well, it's important to know this because you want your ground to be productive. And I look at our own farm and I think about, wow, we're farming some of our great grandfather's land. And that's fantastic to be four generations into this and still have very productive ground. It's some of our best ground that we're farming. We want to make sure that ground gets even better as we go forward. So as we're pulling nutrients out of the soil, we want to make sure that we're putting back at least that many nutrients. And if we're short on something, we've got to fill in some of those gaps. Too. Here's the other thing I often think about because they're talking about, hey, 2021 could be a drier year than normal, at least in our region. Well, most nutrients go into the plant with water. Okay, the nutrients are sitting in the soil, they go into the plant with water. If you have less water, what does that tell you? Well, that means you're going to get fewer nutrients into the plant, right? So if you want to get the right amount of nutrients into the plant, that means, unfortunately, you're going to have to have more nutrients in total in the soil because a smaller percentage is going to get into the plant. Now, certainly there are other ways that farmers can feed crops. You can spray a liquid over the top and nutrients can go in through the leaves, but you can't put much on that way and it's a really short-term fix. So if you wanted to feed your crop, foliar, for example, you'd have to be out there like every single week putting more nutrients on. Last thing I guess I would throw out is, hey, this is a lot of different nutrients we're talking about. With most farmers, they focus on nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. N, P, and K are the abbreviations, but there are so many other nutrients that we often talk about here in the show, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, many of the different micronutrients. So we just encourage you, whatever crop you're raising, look at all the nutrients you need and make sure you've got a good balance and an ample amount of all those in the soil or feed it somehow, some way to your crop. Well, feeding that crop properly is very important so it can compete against weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?